for the first time since March, I'm actually at a Manchester City game this evening. It's not a first team game, it's the under 23s playing in the, well it used to be called the Auto Windscreen Shield, it's had various names. Uh, it was called the Associate Members Cup, the first time I became aware of it, uh, back in I think the 80s. Uh, and these days I think it's called the Leasing.com Trophy. Well basically Mansfield Town's first team will play against City's under 23s. And so I have the chance to be here at this game today and to let you see what it's like behind the scenes of the game that's played behind closed doors. I hope this will be of some interest. It's not quite the, the normal vlog, of course. There'll be a lot more of me and a lot less of the fans, which is not the way I would want it to be. Just so you know, of course, these days I no longer have any association with Manchester City Football Club. Um, that, that The vlogs that I was doing for the website ended during the summer because of their having to um, uh, cut back on, on expenses etc but I've been very grateful for the opportunity that the club have given me for the last two years to be City's official match day vlog or something I know a lot of you who've contacted me have, have passed on their gratitude for and I'm very honoured to do that. I'm hoping during the new football season to continue on match day vlogs. Um, I have uh, one sponsor charleslewy.co.uk who are very keen to carry on with me to support my podcast as well as these vlogs. If you as a company or as an individual would like to get involved in supporting me then you can do so of course and I will be uh, working for a small community station in Manchester called Tameside Radio uh, doing a radio sports program every Friday night between 7 and 9 so that's something I'm really looking forward to uh, but as I say as an individual or as a company you want to get involved in sponsoring or supporting what I do so I can carry on then, then of course I will do. I no longer of course work for the BBC, I haven't done that uh, for three years, so I'm completely independent these days. So what is it going to be like here at Field Mill? That's what they used to call it, that's what it's always when you, you look at these uh, competitions and these quizzes, Field Mill, Field Mill, Mansfield Town, it's called the One Call Stadium these days. I'll take you inside, obviously I'm going to have to cover up with a mask so it might be a little harder to understand what I'm saying but hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. It's not going to be a long vlog, but just to give you a little flavour of what it's like to watch City again in these surreal situations. So here we go then. Bye, Kofsky. Well done. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You've been doing this, Simon, this uh, behind closed doors. Are you getting used to it? Well, how does it feel? Because this is the start of a new season now. We're still in the same situation. No, it, I don't think it ever gets normal. It's still a pretty horrid, soulless experience. Um, certainly but last season, you know, it felt like there was a lot of going through the motions and this is what we have to do to try and get back to a, a sense of normality. But I mean, the country's nowhere near a sense of normality. Uh, and so I suppose it makes sense that, that football isn't either. Um, and we'll just have to keep coming on and, and doing things like this for, for as long as, as we're told to, basically. Do you sense the fans are feeling desperate to get back, that they're disengaged with football, that they're hanging on every word that you write, even more than normal? Uh, I think there's still a lot of interest. Um, I think some fans have switched off. Um, but obviously sort of a lot of the majority of people who, who read and follow City won't be going to the games every week because, you know, it is such a huge fan base. So although, you know, we talk about the fans who are sort of disenfranchised and can't go to the live football every week, there are a lot of fans who still follow the club and, and are still interested without without going to the games. So, of course, there is still a lot of interest and, you know, people are constantly saying, why haven't we signed a centre-back and and everything like that. Um, it's just different different strokes for, for different folks, really. Um, I mean, I was speaking to someone the other day who was saying they, they wouldn't go back to to a stadium until it was full, which you can you can understand. And then I said, well, would, would you change your mind if Messi was there? And they said, yeah, probably. Um, so, you know, it, it's an ever-changing situation, but I mean, from my point of view, as soon as fans can, can be back in, the better. But even when the first fans are let back in, it's going to be a long time before we get back to, to normal. Do you feel your role then as a writer is even more important there? The role has changed in the sense that, you know, 
often we will write a colour piece from the game. You try and give the readers something from the game, uh, from inside the stadium, the atmosphere, not just necessarily, you know, who kicked it in the net. So it's changed in that respect because where you would be commenting on on the fans and maybe them lifting the team or something like that, you're talking about, you know, technical instructions from the dugout or. Uh, players communicating with each other which those are things more easy to hear than than would be other ways so you know it's changed um, but at the same time there is still a lot of uh, the same and it's just about sort of keeping on top of what's what's going on enjoy the experience today thank you it's a new one for me so uh, <laughs> let's see what it's like Again, mate, so you both have to decide. Yeah. You both in your online test. Yeah. That's absolutely great, thank you. Nigel has got you up there when you're ready. Yep, happy. Okay, then, folks, thank you very much. So, can those who are those who are pitch side, can you just step to your left hand side for me? Thank you very much. So Louisa will take you guys that are going up to the press box. Thank you. So we're in then, uh, everybody's uh, very correctly two metres apart in the press box but uh, heartbreaking as it is, no supporters in here. If you've not been to Field Mill before, that's a little bit of an idea of what the ground's like. I'm not sure City actually played here, I'd have to check that during their exploits in the lower divisions. Uh, so this might be the first time I've actually seen City play here. It's a strange way to get a new ground isn't it? Those are the teams then for tonight's game and you can hear the PA in the background talking as if there's fans here which always seems a little bit bizarre to me. Uh, I can see Sean Wright Phillips' son on the bench there. Um, a few faces I'm not as familiar with so it'll be interesting to watch this team play tonight. <laughs> So Rory, tell me what it's like watching your lad play. Oh, it's, it's great, uh, very proud moment. You know, it's it's good to watch him uh, progress since he was since he was six or seven. So uh, you know, just it's great to come and watch him. You know, it's, uh, it's been a long time since I've I've played up in Mansfield, but uh, he's uh, he's holding his own. He's a he's a strong player. He's determined. He's also got quite a volatile sort of personality. Does that all come from you? Uh, I think more than misses, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> no, I, th I think you need that. Um, you know, he's he's always had it. Sometimes he's boiled over. Um, you know, but he'll, he'll learn as he goes on. Um, bookings and red cards and things will, will come to bite him um, from missing games and stuff, and he'll learn that way. And I've always always said that to him. You know, there's no point people taking that out of his game, otherwise he wouldn't be the player he is. How far do you think he can go in the game? I don't know, he's, he's just he's, he's enjoying it, that's all I'm bothered about. Listen, if, um, you know, he's done well to, to get as far as he has so far, so if he keeps it, listen, he works, he, he works really hard. Um, you know, he loves playing the game and that's all I'm bothered about. He certainly, from what I see, is a standout player in this under-21 side, certainly, and even in this game that we're watching, Pep must have his eyes on him as, as an alternative to the type of players that he has in the first team. A lot of City fans say that. 
He's, he's 17 year old. Um, you know, he made, he made the big decision to move from from Derby. Um, he had 10 good years at Derby, and um, he had the confidence that he could go there and do well. And listen, he's, he's, he's done well so far, but uh, there's, there's a long way to go. Has he got a long throw on him like he did? Uh, I don't think so. No, no, that's. Uh, that's one thing he hasn't got from me, I think. <laughs> I think we're ever likely to see that, though. In the maybe not, maybe play, not, no, no. Does he think he's going to bag one today? Uh, he, he, he probably should have had a couple of shots. He's, he's been a little bit slow getting his shot off, but, um, you know, again, that's that's the type of thing you learn. You know, you don't you don't get too many chances at this level. Um, you know, and coming from, from youth football, you know, you usually get four or five a game. So, it, you know, that's something else you'll get to learn. Great assist though for the goal, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, did well. You know, it was a great run by Benavi, so, uh, you know, good finish as well. So, um, hopefully, a bit more of the same second half. So now the game's over, Rory. He, he did it in two goals. He must be a proud dad. Yeah, yeah, but there was, uh, you know, it took, it took him a little bit of time to get those. But, uh, should have got three or four more, probably. He's learned, he's learned he's got to do things a little bit quicker the levels he steps up and, and, you know, but he'll be, he'll be pleased to, to get those later on I'll well, give him my best regards Cheers, he's got top, a future top man. Cheers, Bob. City win 3-0 then in the leasing.com trophy and Rory Delap sees his son score two goals in the second half in quick succession and what a performance from the lad I mean he's got real determination um, he's also a little bit volatile he got booked um, he scored a couple of goals, but he missed a couple as well. Uh, but for me, it was great to be back at the game. If you like the vlogs that I do, and you are a business or an individual who feels you can support me, please let me know on Twitter, at Ian Cheeseman. My DMs are always open. And for this particular vlog, I'm grateful to charleslewy.co.uk, who have agreed to sponsor my podcast for the forthcoming season, which is great. So I give them a special shout out tonight for that but it, uh, there's plenty of opportunity to get involved in supporting the vlogs if you can uh, contact me and i'd love to hear from you in the meantime city win i saw them in the flesh and it's great to be a blue big thanks to the season-long supporter of the forever blue podcast charleslewy.co.uk chartered mortgage advisors thanks guys